I'm back with another video. Today we got what really happened. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I don't know why it's called that. I seen the thumbnail and it's the lady that traveled all everywhere and she made a stop in the wrong at the wrong place and some things happened. Let's continue. It's crazy. New details have emerged in the case of a Spanish and Brazilian influencer tourist couple who met with a horrendous fate in a remote area of India. Vincente and Fernanda boast millions of social media followers thanks to their globe-hopping motorbike content often in far-flung and dangerous parts of the world. But they sparked global headlines after being confronted by a gang of seven young men in Jharkhand, leading to Vincente being held at knife point while Fernanda was horrifically gang-raped. The couple have now uploaded a new video explaining what really happened in the lead up to the attack. They were looking for a suitable place to camp in the area for the night. I ain't know that part. I just know she, they was talking about they stopped in India and I ain't know it was a gang thing. That's insane. <sighs> to all the ladies out there, don't be traveling nowhere by yourself. How foolish of you. She got someone with him. Look at him. He's a drop off. I fling his ass like Lady Tsunade with one finger. You see? Look, he looked disappointed. He felt like it's his fault. Make sure you got someone with you that's competent, capable, and sharp. That's a leader. That can discern. That got his life skills. That can fight. That have his life skills. That's not scared of confrontation. Another... When you travel and make sure you with a masculine man. I know media nowadays and everything that goes against us is to turn us into a little bitch ass. I'm going to say something. I'm glad I didn't say that. They trying to turn us into some bitches, dog. Make sure you can discern. Like, you know you got a masculine man that's sharp, capable, and competent. And have his life skills and can fight. And he, sh he should have had a weapon on him or something. You don't need to be traveling nowhere if you ain't got Officer, you ain't got a Hernandez or something somewhere. Like, if I'm traveling, I got to have somebody in every town I'm traveling. So the first thing I do is I go and get me some protection. Yeah, it's cool if you got money for security and they got it too, but I'm my own person. I don't give a fuck of what no Neanderthal, Kakazoi, man-made law. I agree with universal law. I have the right to self-preservation. So I'm, I'm going to have my straps in. I'm going to have a gun that look like a phone. You know what I'm talking about? I got one big-ass bullet. It'll do it, though. It'll do the job. She ain't had no business out here traveling with him. You should have had some security or something. You said they said she was a, she's an influencer with a million of followers. She could have she could have got her some security. She should have did something. But learn from this. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Because she got to live with this for the rest of her life. Ain't no therapy can fix this yes it can tranquilize it or whatever but <sighs> look at him you had no held you at huh, what do you say held her at knife point let me go back this is insane bro this kind of shit man <sighs> it's it's i know bro it may sound fucked up to say but it's so many reasons why i don't want a daughter so many reasons and this one of them as well they vulnerable and susceptible to things just by being born in this weaker vessel of a female body. So it can be just one guy or it can be multiple guys or whatever. They can impose their will on you or whatever. And you ain't got to. That's. I ain't even got words. This it'd be crazy hearing this like. Confronted by a gang of seven young men in Jharkhand, leading to Vincente being held at knife point. Seven. Was those the young men, though? Was that it? Or did he just, like, was... I know it's easy to get on camera and say what you would do or what you would have done. Right hand, this is my left, right hand up to my grandma. I'd have whooped all their ass. I'd have squad wiped their ass solo. I'd have sent them back to the loading screen with no materials. No skins, no V-Bucks, or nothing. Sent they ass back into spectator mode ind indefinitely. This is crazy. Like, these weak it, man. I hope these ain't it. I hope these ain't it. 
And shout out to the good people of India, because there's good people and there's bad people everywhere. But India, ain't this a shithole for real? There's so many places I want to go. I ain't never thought about India. I don't want to go there. Every time, my phone, it's one of them. Johan Felipe, it's one of those that's calling. I'm calling eBay, and he's saying they scammers and everything. It's it's terrible. It's always a fake, a $5 Indian call, calling my phone. And it's legal over there. They got whole little offices where they sitting in there setting up shop, and they get to legally scam people. I use a, a UAV and a bomb drone. I'm like, this, this is crazy. Seven young men in jar cans, leading to Vincente being held at knife point. Those, those is. <sighs> Whoever you is, shorty, I'm sorry you brought that weak ass old man with you. I know you know better next time. This is fucked up, though. This fucked up, for real. This shit is not funny. Point while Fernanda was horrifically gang raped. The couple have now uploaded a new video explaining what really happened in the lead up to the attack. They were looking for a suitable place to camp in the area for the night. While searching for that location, they saw a man on his phone and speculated he was telling his friends about the rather unusual sight of foreigners in the area. They picked this spot thinking it would give them some shelter and privacy from prying eyes. After parking up their motorbikes, they got ready to set up their tent. But they were immediately approached and stared at by a gang of young men the same group that would later go on to attack them bueno pensábamos que íbamos a estar solos these i swear i can't even say that cuz for the ones that do watch my videos you oh you don't even you right i don't give my power to some external source i i know there's a source but i have my own i have my own conscious my own internal dialogue my ancestors behind me so i'm giving the power to that and I'm say, I say all that to say, I, I don't pray to your God. I affirm things to thyself and I walk in my power. Again, it's easy to say what you would have done behind camera on God, IRL. You can spawn me right there. You can pull your knife out. I'm beating y'all ass by myself with just hands if that's all I got. But if I'm traveling somewhere, I'm not traveling nowhere unless I ain't got a Johan Felipe in, in town. So the first thing, as soon as you get off the plane, go and get some protection. I got it. I'm getting a... a, a a gun that looked like a phone. My, my, my. Ah, <laughs> this is insane. You mean, I promise you, I'd have fought all the ass by myself. I'm telling you. Hit one, bloop, up, hit the other. I'm telling you, they would have just. <sighs> Ladies, don't go for this. Make sure you got a mask on, a strong, capable, and competent man with you. He should have had something on him, a butter knife, something. You don't bring this old weak ass man with you like like Earth is just a playground. But that's females' problem though. They little kids for real. And you gotta watch out for them. At the end of the day, I don't care who you is, a female you a little kid for real. You think everything is just rainbows and marshmallows and cookies. Alright. And yeah, we know danger is lurking around the corner. It can be someone that your car broke down. He assuming human form. <laughs> He come to you. He help you get your car jump started. You like, oh, thank you. You turn your back, hit you upside your head and toss you in his doom buggy like Ted Bundy. Life really like that. Somebody can give you some money. You like, oh, he gave me a hundred dollars for whatever reason. Like, he don't give a fuck about that. He have an agenda at the end of the day. And he luring you in. And then he's going to have, have your body in the freezer like Jeffrey Dahmer. Understand life is really like that. It's about people, places, and things. You're going to go places. There's going to be people there with things. You see, it's a bunch of $5 Indians over here with butter knives. And you already know they was like some GTA pedestrians. This is sad. I'm flabbergasted. I'm appalled. <laughs> Vincente then reveals how one of the men immediately walked up and stuck his hand in a bag of peanuts they were eating, lamenting that they'd have just given him some if he'd asked. Ese que veis ahí, el de la camiseta de Chicago, fue uno de los hijos de puta que no. Ada beat his ass, you fake ass Indian. Why do the weak always get attacked and victimized? Why is never somebody that's on edge already with this shit as well? Like, why? Look at him. Pants ain't even zipped up. Like, 
guys, to anybody watching this video, take heed to that for real. Even if you a guy as well, because it's a lot of guys out there that's weak and some old shit too. Because that's what the that's what this construct. Everything that's attacking you is by design to make you weak and feminine and to make it the demonized masculinity. So it's like a lot of males, he is weak too. Got no self-defense skills, can't fight, don't have no heart, nothing like. So even if it's guys, bring a couple guys with you too. And you shouldn't, they shouldn't be your guys, your friends if they cowards. You can't be a coward, you, you, you can't. Because if they got one of your people for hostage or ransom or whatever, the coward going to run away and then your people going to get tortured all because he was a fucking coward. So there's no room for them. Yeah, make sure you learn from this story. Learn from the, the things of other. It could have got worse. They could have did that and then cut them up and ate them. Not let them even go back home. It could have been worse. I'm telling you, out there, I wouldn't have been alone. I would have had some extra gadgets and gadgets and shit. But if I was, I seen Hostel by Quentin Tarantino. That movie will always linger on my mind. Have you seen that movie? I would have beat his ass so easy, I'm telling you. I would have beat his ass so easy. It, it wouldn't have even been funny. It, would, you, it wouldn't have even been funny. It would it'll look like domestic abuse. Nos asaltaron. Antes de que grabáramos esto, Fernanda estaba comiendo cacahuetes, ese se acercó, le cogió los cacahuetes sin pedirle permiso y fue cuando Fernanda le dijo, si me pides yo te doy, pero no me los cojas sin permiso, aunque no debió entender nada porque no hablaba absolutamente nada de inglés. Seeing that the group of men were not going to leave them alone, the couple got back on their bikes and left the area, riding to a small town about two kilometers away to have dinner, with Vincente being relieved that the men weren't following them. Those were in the men that did it? After buying supplies and finding something to eat, Vincente and Fernanda made a fateful decision. Despite having already been harassed and essentially robbed by the gang of sketchy young men, and despite Fernanda herself expressing concerns and reservations, the couple then made what some people are saying was a self-evident mistake. They waited until it got dark and then went back to the exact same place. Estamos volviendo ahora al sitio que vimos anteriormente para acampar. Creemos que ya no habrá nadie, al menos es lo que esperamos. Fernanda then realized that the same gang that harassed them earlier was still there. Es que nos bajó del tema. Están ahí, ay cariño. Why the fuck would y'all go back there? And see, ladies, you see what I'm talking about? You shouldn't be nowhere if you ain't with a man that can fight that's competent and capable. And that's, that's thinking ahead and already. You the one supposed to have the luxury of being a kid thinking everything Disneyland. We supposed to be scanning parameters and shit. Filling out biofields and seeing what's going on. He's supposed to be the leader. He's the male. Or did, was it her idea? It's still bad on his behalf. Who idea was it? He's supposed to be the leader. He was to be like, nah, we was there once. That's not a good idea. And we got out there the first time. So it's a sign not to go back. Why the fuck would you go back there? I must wrap the video up, man. This shit is crazy. Nos van a ver. No sabes, no? Y es aquí a la derecha. Look at it. Went back to the wild store. No haga ruido. No me alumbre mucho. Da espacio para que no se vea la modo. Era por aquí. Si acelera bruscamente, que no se nos oiga, sobre todo. She then made clear that she wouldn't have returned to this area alone. Que yo si estuviera viajando sola, no creo que acampara. Yo sí acamparía. Talking about alone. You basically were alone. What that weak ass old man gonna do? He ain't gonna do nothing. He can't do nothing. He look, I can scan him and know he have no skills. He probably know how to set a fire. He ain't got no skills though. He can't fight. He don't hit hard enough to make somebody run off. You hit their ass once and they really, it'll put their ass in spectator mode real quick until they come back and they'll run off. They don't want to feel that twice. This shit is insane, dog.
I almost said something like, man, look how I get. Man. Stupid ass. Fuck it, bro. I'm traveling the world. Trust me. I'm going to travel the world. I'm not going to India. I'm not going to India. With a bunch of $5 Indians. I'm not. The fuck out of here. I'm not going there. Shout out to my good Indian people, though. I know you, you get a bad rap because all we see is this and a scammers that's that's calling us. But it's y'all duty to clean that up so y'all ain't perceived in a light that isn't in favor of y'all. To what people have their preconceived notions and judge you due to what they've seen. This is disgusting. Claro, porque es un hombre. Esa es la diferencia. Claro, corremos más riesgo porque a ti. Si un hombre viene a luchar contigo, tú tienes más probabilidad de zafarse que una mujer. They set up their tent, went to bed, but were then subjected to a brutal three-hour ordeal at the hands of the same group of young men who had harassed them earlier in the day. Holding Vincente at knife point, they took Fernanda away to an area behind some bushes, and you know the rest. <laughs> what was he doing? When they was doing, did they take it, take it, take it? Did they give you an anal probe too? What, what was you doing when it was? Is this his girlfriend? I, I ain't got no words for y'all. I think you, I think, man, if I ain't know no better, man, I think you. Respondents to their video on YouTube, aside from rightly condemning the monsters who did this, who, let's be clear, are solely to blame, questioned why Fernanda's female intuition to avoid going back to the area was ignored, noting that such a decision was ignored her intuition, or she ignored it, or she ain't have it to begin with, and he ain't used his leadership, his comp competence, and his experience. I know that's a sad, okay, not to go back there. Some shit just happened there, to, not to go back there. To, the universe let us off with that one that time, whatever. But me, as soon as dude, you standing, you let the enemy stand behind you. You don't know what he's capable of. He could have just gutted you right there if, you, if he wanted to. He, It's a difference between people know who to play with and not. If I'm out there, he's not walking up to me while I'm eating peanuts. He's not. I'm not going to be eating peanuts to begin with, but he's not walking up to me. He, he's on the side of me. I'm about to beat his ass. I'm hitting him like twice and ain't nobody else running up. He's the, the pain he feels is going to project onto the rest of his NPC buddies. They're going to feel it too and they're going to skip fucking battle. He ain't use his leadership. She ain't use her. Y'all some bots. I can't feel sorry for you at this point. I can't. And I don't care how good that man is to you or whatever. You should not be with him if he can't protect. I don't give a fuck. You can't. You shouldn't. I don't care if he got money only. Because if we go back to the traditional way of things when money don't exist, it matter about the competent capability of a man and his leadership and what can he do. Like, do he has life skills? Can he? That frail, weak-ass old man. I hit his ass with a... <sighs> One of those. It's over with. A, not even... Give him 25%. And that's gonna take all his HP. Ladies, don't don't go for no shit like this. Do not take no weak ass, coward ass, buster with you. Don't. Otherwise, you're susceptible to shit like this, and maybe even worse. Being sex trafficked, get you strung out on drugs, have so many men gang rape you. Once they feel like you're useless or you're on the verge of dying, torture you real quick and get the adrenochrome from you. Or, then after that, feed you, eat, eat, eat you or something like. <laughs> YouTube, this is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. Let's continue. Was very dangerous given that in areas like I these, women sorry, don't Paul. even go out at night, especially tourists. And some even blamed Vincente for not paying attention to Fernanda's instincts about the danger they were in. <laughs> and again, the blame lies solely with the savages who did this, not Vincente or Fernanda. But this once again highlights the pitfalls of cultural relativism. The idea that you shouldn't have discernment or judge the dangerousness of places, people, or situations. Because those those prejudices are I fuck with that. You worded it different. It's about people, places, and things, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna go places. There's gonna be people there. 
with things. Example, they went to an area they weren't familiar, familiar with. And then you have people there that's familiar with the area. So they got the upper hand because it's their terrain. They they used to it. They know what how to get. And then they had things being a, a fucking butter knife. They could have had guns, machetes, and made it even scarier for them. But people, places, and things. They went to a place, somebody home turf, and they know all around how to. So you got you at a disadvantage with that. And it was people there on the same accord and pose they will on you with things. Butter knives. This kind of shit disgusts me, bro. I wish I can just spawn in certain places and handle this shit. I'm hands on. I'm tired of talking. I appreciate the Dr. Martin Luther Kings and the Malcolm X's and people that came before me and the Marcus Garvey's that talk. You see what happened with them? Get your hand out my pocket and they get dropped off. I don't want to be those. I'm tired of talking. When is my DNA fully one on line? I want to put hands on. We can talk later. I'm, I'm done talking. I'm sick of that talking shit. That shit is annoying. Like, bitch, I'm trying to beat y'all ass. The bad guy's been winning for so long. Like, this shit need to be handled. Just based on bigoted, stereotyped, westernized views of the world. Problem being that ignoring those so-called prejudices sometimes ends in real-world harm. It's a debate that's raged down through the ages. Boxers or briefs. But when it comes to keeping your meat and two veg dry and comfortable, unless you actually want a sweaty and clammy ball sack, which if you do, probably best to see someone about that, sheath underwear has settled the debate once and for all. Now show me the goods. Invented by a US Army veteran who came up with the idea during his second tour of Iraq, sheath uses a modern ergonomic design intended to prevent skin-on-skin -skin contact for long durations, which can build up heat and sweat. And what you get is the most exquisite blends of quality fabrics to ensure less chafing, less readjusting. What the fuck is he talking about? What a, it's a sponsor? to certain parts of India, where this kind of thing is unfortunately not uncommon, they asserted that India was really not that much different to anywhere else. Y, y no penséis que India es así. India es un gran país. Es un gran país. Y vale la pena visitarlo con sus cosas buenas y sus cosas malas. Y eso ha sido un incidente. Y no eso nos tiene que dejar el recuerdo de. Old ass man, you should be ashamed of your goddamn self. How can you call yourself a man if you can't fight? If you can't keep your your short your swords sheathed. If you ain't got a pistol, you don't know how to work it. If she had some skills, if she was a, I don't know. Like sometimes you gotta go and train. God damn it, I understand you need to go to the gun range often. Skills are perishable, and you shouldn't be traveling nowhere unless you got a Johan Felipe in that town. She should have had on, don't they got some boxers from female, and you can have like some kind of attachment like a knife? She could have finessed and did something. It only take for you to get one whole one of them hostages. You could have did something. That's what happened when you motherfuckers ain't got no skills and you just roam the earth. You, you liable to get exploited by anybody that feel the inclination. Oh, I can do this. And yeah, you're going to be a victim, buddy. I'm disgusted. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Telling people not to make generalizations. La gente, los indianos son buena gente. Hemos... Pues chocado con unos indeseables que lo sí. que esperamos es que se mueran en la cárcel. Pero no hay que generalizarlo. La policía está haciendo todo lo que puede. Claiming that such an outcome would have been just as likely in America. Cantidad de cosas absurdas que es impresionante la incultura de la gente. La cuestión es que esto, una violación, un robo, puede pasarte a ti, a tu hermano, a tu madre, a tu hija. And then suggested that India was safer than Europe because they'd been robbed in Europe and not in India. Esto le puede pasar a cualquier viajero, novato, experimentado o cualquiera. Nosotros hemos acampado en 66 países. Hemos estado acampando en Irán, en Afganistán, en Pakistán, en India, en Arabia Saudí, en muchísimos países. Nunca hemos tenido un problema. Sí ha venido gente a curiosidad. La gente. La mayoría, la gran mayoría de la gente es buenísima, buenísima. Y seguridad, hay mucha más seguridad en Asia, 
que en Europa. Eso lo podemos garantizar. Wait, they did get robbed in India. Some noted an ominous comment on one of their previous videos before any of this happened by a Pakistani man who suggested the way she dressed would lead to quote unfortunate events. According to a Thomson Reuters international survey. I was looking at that earlier too, but they weren't around them guys at the time. But when she just had on the the top and literally like some panties or something like a on a on a motorcycle like you got too much skin showing too like and they culture different they grew up on so they see yeah guys that watch this this guys trust me this can happen to you as well they can get some big bulky ball head ass russians to go and grab you and impose they will on you too so make sure y'all all don't ignore that gut feeling that can be the matter of life or death we rather you be nutty and run out for me and people like, yo, what the fuck he acting? We rather that, do that. And opposed to just sit and then you, and you in some dungeon somewhere, you in the caverns with a Gilgamesh and he tickling your toes or something. And she's still with this man too. I'm sorry, you might be a good fellow, but how good are you? You can't be a good guy. It's impossible to be a good guy if you a weak coward. Before that happened, you should have died. How can you look up at her? How can you still make love to her, do whatever you're doing, and know that these men, on top of the other things after that, if they did whatever they did, they do it, did they release inside of her? It can, and it will rewrite her DNA. You have a kid. They DNA will still compose of your kids genetic composition as well and even the energetic signature she might start having tendencies or propensities and act a certain way that you dislike and you don't even and it's from the males that impose they will on her like this shit they don't look but again they sound i don't know what language they speak what they i don't know what language they speaking on what no what culture they grew up in or none of that like Everybody don't think the same way. They ain't got the same program as a guy to know. Like, nah, I need to be competent, capable, and sharp. And I need to know how to defend that at any means. Like, a lot of males not like that. So, uh, I came up. That's the story that pissed me off the most. And that shit changed my life forever. Like, it's the Junko Furuto story. Like, and then you got people in the comment section talking about, oh, she's in a better place now. All the perpetrators going to get whatever. They Man, I don't want to fucking hear that shit. She was forsaken with this weaker body of a female's vessel. And there was a guy and multiple guys that's stronger too. And sh she ain't have a chance at hell. That shit ain't fair. And if the Jesus, the crucifixion, I know that shit is metaphorically, but if we going, if you think it's like an actual physical thing, she sustained and went through more pain than actual than Jesus, and people tell me so. All oh, that she still felt what she felt though. You ever been drunk? It feel like you in an infinite sukiyome for thirty fucking days. And I think her expiration. I think she was going through that torture, being burned with candle wax, right? Oh. It was horrendous. For over what thirty nine days or something like that. That story, like, I've been through shit. It's not sweet and not Disneyland or whatever. That's why that shit just, it just enchanted me and amplified me on already what I know and how I feel about motherfuckers already when I go outside. Like, I'd rather that judge who I've written. And if I'm wrong, I'll be the bigger man and apologize and move forward. But nine times out of ten, I won't be wrong. Shit. But that shit changed my pers And it's just a more... Let's continue. India is the most dangerous country in the world for women. The top 10 of that list doesn't include any European countries. But weeks after the incident, the pair were still giving media interviews telling women to travel to such countries, adding that women should challenge outdated norms that tell them to avoid risk and danger. This is to all you bitches that be like, oh, I don't need a man. Uh, he's, 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 his masculinity is going against my femininity and all that stupid shit. <laughs> End up here by yourself and then see what happened. Let them, the man had a way with you. you. Since you think you don't need a man, all right, you're going to need someone. 
when you figure outside right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from, you're going to need some run. Uh, hopefully it ain't one of them. Him. A weak one. Whether it's your, your, your father, your, your brothers have some... But the morally relativistic cultural equivalence between India and Western European countries doesn't seem to be borne out by reality and the experiences of other people who have travelled to India. Despite the media constantly pushing the narrative that women should travel alone to countries like India and not worry too much about their safety. The kind of narrative that has led to solo female travellers outnumbering solo male travellers by 67% to 37%. A statistic I find absolute. Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to say women should travel alone? I'm a guy and I'm still not traveling alone. I can be outnumbered. Yeah, I'm my own John Wick, but still though, I've seen Hostel. Go and watch Hostel. And go and watch my video, the Junko Furuto story. And then to that, see what you think. Life really like that. I hope you know that. Absolutely incredible. There are countless videos on YouTube of female travellers in India recounting the awful experiences that they had. This video from a beach in India is metastasized into a humorous meme. I'm at the beach. I want to show you guys the beautiful view. Got that umbrella. Yeah, you guys can see the water. But it seems to be representative of a general trend. There are multiple videos of women explaining how they attended the Holy Festival, even after in some cases being told to stay off the streets while it was happening. We gonna wrap it up here, man. Hopefully y'all learn something. Learn from their mistakes. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.